Club with Gate City Foundation Drainage. I'm out here today on a job and we're going to be cleaning up some brush and some trash. So if you look up here, you can see that we're working on some concrete up there. And I'll show you that a little bit later. But what we want to do today for the homeowner, or the property owner I should say, is he, he wants all this brush cleaned up. There's some dirt in here he wants leveled out and there's a bunch of trash in here. And so we're going to try to get this cleaned up just a little bit. This is actually the neighbor's property and the property owner I'm working for has permission to clean this stuff up. So you can see we got a little bit here as well. This is Sean with Gate City Foundation Drainage. I'm out on a job today with Harvey. This is a commercial job and we are out here doing some clearing in the lower part of the property. So we're going to be clearing a little bit today and then Harvey and his concrete crew are going to be doing some concrete work up on the top of the property. It was just Harvey and I today trying to get started out here. So I've got both of my dump trucks, I've got my skid steer, and then I've got a root grapple or root bucket, root rake you might call it. And so you're going to see here in a sec, this is just an overgrown part of the property. There was a house on this lower part of the property and they had that torn down and removed. And there's just like an overgrown side of the, the property line. And the business owner wants to get that cleaned up a little bit, graded, seeded and straw. And so that's what Harvey and I are working on today. This is the area that we're clearing here. And you can see that it's just an overgrown area. There's like a big dumpster back in there that's covered in vines and vegetation. And it's just kind of a, an eyesore for the property. So the building that back there, the blue building, that is the neighboring property. And they were kind enough to let us park our dump trucks on their property and get better access. But the problem with a job like this is sorting. So the brush is going to go off for recycling, the organic matter. The trash is going to go to the landfill. If there's any steel in there, you probably want to get that out. And then the last thing we have to deal with here is tires. So tires in my county have to go to a special tire re recycling place. So that's the main challenge with a job like this is getting everything sorted out. The building we are working on is the one off to the right here that's coming into screen right now. And so you can kind of see where that's at. So I'll get some better shots coming up here shortly. Here you can see a little bit better about what's going on. So the concrete guys are up here and this area that they've got formed up here, this is gonna be an addition 
for tractor trailers backing up. So take a look off to the left at that loading dock right there. What was going on before is the tractor trailers were bumping over this curb here and getting in the grass and mud and trying to get backed into that loading dock. So Harvey and his crew are out here and they're putting a nice addition about 12 feet or so to allow more room for tractor trailers. And then you can see me off to the right over there by that blue building and I've got my dump trucks over there and I'm working trying to get that brush cleaned up as these concrete guys are trying to get started. So we were, we were dividing and conquering on this day, trying to get things going and getting a good start on this job. This ground just kind of gave way on me. So luckily Harvey's here to the rescue. But look at that, it just, it just sank right down in there. So we'll see if we can get it pulled out. Take a look at this hole. I don't know what happened. It's just mud, muck right here. I just sank right in. We were out here today. It rained pretty good last night and we're trying to decide if we want to pour or not. So I wanted to show you a couple things here. Look at how much the water gouged all that out. So we have to be really, really careful for getting this up high to try to shoot the water across and into this drainage basin. I also wanted to show you, you all know that gravel allows water to pass through it, right? So look at what was happening here. The water was running along here. Once it found this gravel, it, it, it went through the gravel and out. And so it gouged out quite a bit right there as well. So we're gonna have to be real mindful when we get this bank completed to get this restored and, and stabilized pretty quickly. Since there were going to be a lot of tractor trailers bumping up against this area, the customer wanted a slightly larger than normal curb on the side here. And so once we got looking at this, we realized that the concrete was going to be coming up quite a bit higher. And so we needed to bring in some more fill and base material to pack in here. So it's, I guess, a few days later after things have dried out a little bit and we're trying to get everything ready to go. Anytime you're filling in more than a few inches at a time, you want to be compacting in stages. So we put one, one load on, spread it out, compacted it with a compactor, and then we bring the next load in, do the same thing, spread it out, and use a compactor. You wouldn't want to just add load after load after load and then spread it, because that dirt's not gonna get compacted properly. And so a strong foundation, a strong base is the key for getting this concrete to work really well and not be settling and moving all over the place and cracking. Here we're going to have a bunch of big trucks through here, so we're putting some wire in the concrete before we pour. And the concrete just arrived. Yeah. 
They're gonna pour the curb first because that's gonna take a lot of hand work to work it. So he's only got three and a half yards on the concrete truck. And then we're gonna come back and pour the slab later today. No le talles que la estás bajando. No le muevas a la de arriba, güey. Ya que sé que la voy a volver a con esta no la voy a terminar. Sí, no le muevas, vamos. Mira, yo no me voy aquí para este This is exactly why we're here. Some of these truck drivers can who've done it before can swing right in here. But there's just not enough room. So we're adding all of this concrete to help out, make it easier. I want to make sure to not say anything bad about this driver here. There was equipment all over the place. We were all standing there watching him, so he was definitely on the spot. So again, I'm just putting this in here to show that this area just barely had enough clearance to get the tractor trailer in there. So by us adding this about 12 or so feet, it really made things a lot easier for drivers coming through here. So again, we're not going to say anything bad about this driver trying to get in here with all of us standing around watching him. The water's gonna run along yeah. this edge. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Not much. Not much, but that's what it's been doing. Yeah. That is still fun. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah, I the right there. Right there. And I got my nails out here. We are finished with the pour, so we're going to let this set up for about a week, and then we've got a bunch of finished grading and dirt to bring in. So take a look at this mess. So this will all be dirt coming in, and same thing back here. We've got a lot of dirt to bring in to try to build this up a little bit and feather it up. So we're going to give this about a week before we start driving on it, and where I was cleaning up down here, it's still really, really wet, so I've got to give that some time too and I picked up those tires. I'll show you that here in a sec. 
since I was here with this little truck, I went ahead and got those old tires. They have to go to a special facility for disposal. So that they're, they're kind of nasty and muddy and wet, and I should have thought that through a little bit better. We're back out here. It's the next day, and we're pulling the form boards off. So things came out pretty good. We've got to let this dry out a little bit before we can get back to our finished grading. We are back out here today to do some finish grading. It's been about a week or so, and our concrete's looking pretty good. We just backed the dump truck onto it. It didn't crack on us, so we should be in pretty good shape. The first two loads are on the ground, and we're gonna head back to my place and get a couple more loads of dirt.
All right, this truck driver has delivered here many, many times. He's super excited about this add-on we did. So let's see if it makes it any easier for him. Oh, look at that. Just that little bit made a huge deal. Look at that. We're bringing another load over here. So they're dumping that right there. And then I brought the big skid steer over here to try to flatten out some of these clumps that we've got going on. So this one's got really, really wide tracks and it floats really well. So hopefully we can get this finished up. That's the plan. This job was actually the, the concrete guy Harvey's job and I was just helping out with it. So I was doing the, the cleaning up on the lower part and it turns out I ended up helping out with the concrete pour a little bit, but then I helped out quite a bit with the finish grading. So they pushed that concrete out so far into the bank that I really wanted to bring a ton of dirt in to really stabilize that thing. And so we hauled, I think it was like 10 truckloads of dirt in. And then I had that big excavator, which is really handy to, to reach across there and pack everything in on that hill. So this was for a property owner. The property owner is a longtime acquaintance of Harvey the Concrete Guy. And so I got introduced to him and he was very happy with our work. And so we've been doing a bunch of other stuff over there at that business. So this will be the first in a probably three or four part video series on work that we've been doing over there. So make sure you stay tuned for more video. And I did take some rain footage of that additional concrete we put in, but I can't find it right now. And I don't want to give away all the other work we've done out there. So there's rain footage coming up from this job. So stay tuned for that. All right. Thanks for watching.